All right, Sidekicks fans, welcome into our third edition of Sidekicks Direct. We have a little bit of a different, uh, different version of this today as we're sitting down with RJ Luvano. I am Scott Wagner, your host. I'm um, going to talk to RJ about something what we, we're normally talking about guys that have re-signed with the team. We're actually going to be talking about a retirement today. So first off, RJ, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Been good. How's the, uh, how's the quarantine been going for you? Uh, crazy. Crazy, man. Just uh, trying to make it, obviously, day by day with the kids, the wife, uh, the business, outside of the sidekicks, you know, starting life outside of it. Just uh, trying to make it, man. Trying to maintain. Well, let's talk about that life uh, post-sidekicks, but I want to talk sidekicks, obviously, for a moment. So um, this past 2019, 2020 season, you, you said was your last season. What went into the decision to, to retire from the sidekicks after five seasons with the team? Oh, man. Uh, it's so many things, so many different variables. Um, for me, I think, you know, uh, some of them, and I won't be too long, but um, I think more than anything, just, just my family, man. The biggest part of, of, of making this decision is I've, you know, kind of year by year, you know, been teetering on, you know, giving it one more go or, or retiring. It's just, you know, this year my, my kids are getting older, spending more time with them, um, you know, being a bigger part of their lives. Obviously, during the season, we travel so much. And, and train so much you know I've missed birthdays holidays and stuff like that so for me I think what uh, pushed me over the edge was just spending more time with my family ultimately and my body <laughs> and being old <laughs> I was gonna that was gonna be my next question man did age or you know getting beat up because it's a the indoor game is a very physical game I mean even more so than the outdoor game what kind of toll is that taken on your body oh man I think uh I mean everything right it's it's from my knees to my to my lower back to you know, dislocating my shoulder, you know, kind of three quarters into the season uh, this year for the second time in the last two years. I mean, it's, it's, it's beating me up. I'm still recovering, which is, which is crazy. Two months, you know, uh, post the season, I'm still recovering just from some of the injuries from groins being, you know, strained and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's definitely a toll. The indoor, the indoor game will, will, will take a toll on your body, especially in your 30s. <laughs> no, I, I, trust me, I completely understand. We're going to talk a little bit more uh, about the indoor game specifically uh, momentarily. But I, I wanted to say you've become over your years with the sidekicks uh, pretty well known with the fan base and a fan favorite. And, you know, obviously with your, your coaching background and your skills background, which we're going to talk about momentarily as well. Um, you know, you can't go to a game and, and you, you always hear chants of RJ, RJ from, from little kids all over the Arena, what has the Sidekicks fan base meant to you? Uh, it's everything, man. It's my, it's my family. You know, it's, uh, it's the people. It's the neighborhood that I grew up in. It's the city, you know, that, I, that I've grown up in and, and played uh, my whole career here indoor. Um, you know, just, just hearing, you know, the hometown fans, my family, friends, you know, familiar faces in, in, in the crowd and, and, you know, even unfamiliar faces, just knowing that we represent the same city. Um, that we're playing for, you know, obviously the badge as well. It's just, it's everything, man. It's, it's the extra motivation you need to play at this level. So what does post-retirement, you know, MASL career, RJ, what is he, what is he doing? What is he looking to do? Any new hobbies that you're going to pick up? Obviously you've got the RJ seven skills and we'll talk about that again. Um, but is there anything that you're going to pick up to fill this time besides hanging out with the family? <laughs> I guess what every retired athlete does, play golf, right? There you go. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I've never played a round of golf in my life. And, you know, talking to some of my friends now that have retired and other guys in the league that are, that are there or getting there, it's, you know, everybody's picking up golf. And being the young hotshot that I was many years ago, I thought, obviously, I'd never play golf in a million years. <laughs> but um, it's sounding more appealing now, day by day. But, uh, I mean, that I've actually picked up, uh, you know, enjoying some time with my oldest son, just playing Frisbee golf, which is – you know, a little, little less hard than I guess in real golf. But like you said, you hit the nail on the head. Just spending more time with my family, uh, trying to build, you know, my business pro or pro, uh, you know, post, post sidekicks and whatnot. And just, um, you know, maybe vacation a little bit more. Okay, yeah, I, I'm definitely down with, I'm down with the golf, the vacationing a yeah. little bit more, the business. Those are all sound like uh, pretty fun things. So I'm going to tell a quick little story for the, for the sidekicks viewers and listeners here. So the first time I met you was actually not with the sidekicks. Uh, okay. We were playing indoor soccer at Inwood. It was during the off season before the sidekicks had come back originally. Uh, what was that? Two years ago. Right. And uh, so is there any chance that we are going to see you in the, in the Inwood over 30 men's circuit? 
<laughs> man, if, you, if I had a dollar for every time I've been asked that question since retiring and um, I mean, uh, absolutely, man, who am I, who am I kidding to say that I don't still love the game and it's, that it's not everything to me because it is, it's, you know, it's, it's put a roof over my head. It's, it's provided for my family, for my kids, for my wife. And, you know, I, I can't get away from the game. Obviously the body doesn't allow me to play at the level of the sidekicks and obviously the MASL, but you know, I'm still a kid, man, you know, deep down underneath all these years of playing and age and, you know, old body and hurting and everything, I'm still a kid. So it's going to be hard. As my wife says, she needs me to go play soccer or else I'm a grumpy <laughs> old man around the house. All right. Well, I'm going to ask a favor. So now that we've, I've gotten to know you over the past couple of years, obviously through the sidekicks, when we are playing against each other on Monday nights up at Inwood, can you take it a little bit easier on yeah. me? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. You know, so the first time we had played against each other, it was so frustrating. Like, I was a relatively decent soccer player myself. I played in college, and I went up against RJ, and again, I'm, I'm in my 30s as well. And he's just dancing around, guys, balls constantly right at his foot, never a bad touch. Man, you're the most frustrating guy to play against. I appreciate that. Thank you. So I want to ask you your final season. You and I had talked earlier in the year, and you had said that, you know, that you thought this was going to be your last year. Uh, looking back on it, is there a moment from your final season that you really remember that really stands out to you? Uh, it's an easy one. It was uh, scoring against Mesquite, man. That I figured was, that. I was kind of leading yeah. you that. I was going to lead you oh, that way if you didn't get there, but that was what I was hoping you were going to yeah. say. This isn't my first rodeo, man. I know where you were going with that. So, yeah, that, that's it, man. I didn't score many goals this season. Um, and, you know, anytime you score a goal as, 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 as a soccer player, as a field player, even as a goalie, those are times that you remember. Um, and to score it against obviously our crosstown rivals, uh, it, it was everything, you know, my family being in the stands and, you know, I think we, we went up by a goal, you know, with a couple of minutes left uh, to ultimately win that game. So that was, you know, for this season, at least, that was definitely the highlight of my, of my, uh, of this season for me. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a very pivotal moment. I was standing behind the goal actually. And I, uh, you know, I, I looked over to the, the gentleman that runs our social media, Fetty. And he was like, that was his, Fetty goes, that was his swan song, you know, his final moment. And it was, it was a darn good one to, uh, to go out with. You know, we'll wrap this up here pretty quickly. I know you're doing the RJ7 skills and stuff, uh, skills um, as your business. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about RJ7 skills. Yeah, man, it's, 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 a, it's a, a business that I started about nine years ago. Um, but probably around the, the, the first season that I started playing with the sidekicks uh, when they first came back in like 2012, 2013. So I knew, you know, being 27 years old at that time that I wasn't going to be able to play forever uh, indoor soccer or outdoor for that, for that matter. So, you know, it was just something that I loved doing um, and, you know, didn't want to necessarily go into the coaching and work for a club and stuff like that. You know, I, being a technical player, I enjoyed the technical part of the game, obviously, tremendously. And it was just an opportunity that I was, you know, given uh, and, and privileged to have just to be able to start something and, you know, be able to work on the technical part of the game with young players, with, you know, uh, high school players with college players some professional players as well we've been lucky enough to work with and uh you know we've 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 been blessed uh, my family's been very blessed for the last nine years for our business to grow um and even through this whole crazy corona you know to still continue to to uh persevere and, and continue to push forward obviously with all of the uh the guidelines and whatnot to you know to continue to do that but you know, definitely a blessing from God to, uh, to allow my family to have this opportunity for me to continue to do, obviously, what I love to do past just playing the game and, and be able to, you know, give my knowledge and my, you know, my level, my everything that I've ever learned in the game and pour it into these young players. So one last question for you. Now that you're retired, any involvement with the sidekicks moving forward besides as a fan? Would you come back, help maybe coach a little bit here and there? You've obviously got the eye for the game. You, you know the game just as well as anybody. Any, any involvement with the, with the franchise moving forward? Oh, man, that would, it would be a privilege. Um, you know, obviously we're in the off season. The whole corona thing is kind of just, you know, put a damper on everything. But, you know, looking forward to speaking with, uh, with Coach uh, Simone, obviously Coach Jesse, Coach Fabi, and, you know, I mean, Anything that I can do to help the team, to help the franchise move forward, uh, part of that being me retiring <laughs> this year and, and allowing someone to step up into that role that, you know, that I've been able and, and privileged to have, um, I would love to do. You know, if, if they ask me to coach, they ask me to, to get water, they ask me to be, you know, the ball boy, you know, it's, it would be a privilege to, uh, to be able to continue to, to be a part, you know, and affiliated with this, with this team that I've supported my whole life. Awesome. We are so excited. It was an honor to have you on here on our third ever Sidekicks Direct and to get to chat with you about your retirement and kind of what is coming next for you. 
I look forward Thank to you. seeing you on Monday nights, hopefully up at, uh, at some of the, the amateur places all around where Absolutely. you'll now be paying to play soccer instead of getting paid to play soccer, right? Yeah, it'll, be a, it'll be a little bit of a turn, but, but, uh, <laughs> but well needed. Well needed. Very cool. That is RJ Luvano. Five seasons with the sidekicks, announcing his retirement. Hopefully sticking around with the team. You can catch him. If you've got little ones that are looking for uh, skills training, RJ7 skills, you can find him uh, online anywhere. He's got, you've got videos up on, the, on, right. um, on, on Facebook, yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, so you can't learn from anybody more technical. That's for, that's for sure, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, Scott. I appreciate it, man. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. We will be back with you next time for another episode of Sidekicks Direct. Take care. Awesome. Cheers.